how the war on drugs is killing us and our neighbors in Mexico. During Prohibition in the 1920s, we had gangsters with colorful nicknames like Lushy, Lucky Luciano and Bugsy Siegel. Now, during our current marijuana prohibition, we have gangsters with names like Edgar the Barbie Valdez and Ignacio Nacho Coronel. Prohibition always breeds gangsters, and the current one has led to massive gangs and massive crime. In the 1920s, not only did arrests for drunkenness and disorderly conduct increase once we banned alcohol, but so did thefts and burglaries, homicides, assaults, and batteries. The number of federal convicts increased by 561 percent. The federal prison population grew by 366 percent. And total federal expenditures on penal institutions increased by 1,000 percent. Sound familiar? We had the same exact kind of enormous jumps in incarceration, crime, and prison expenditure under this current pot prohibition. But worse yet, Mexico has been ripped apart by this senseless war on drugs. Since Felipe Calderon, under the encouragement of the Bush administration, started his fruitless war against drugs in Mexico in 2007, 30,200 people have died in drug-related violence. That's a stunning number. There have been decapitated bodies, grisly murders of every variety, and just earlier this week, two college students were fatally shot and set on fire in Juarez. In fact, over 3,100 people have been killed in Juarez, Mexico this year alone. When is enough enough? We tried the war on drugs for decades and it didn't work. Worse yet, it created more crime, more gangs, and more murder. It's time to end this and legalize.